This is The Party with Serene and Pearl. Get it right, P-O-D-D-Y. It's the Trim Healthy Podcast with Serene, Pearl, and Danny. And uh, I got a couple faves on the today from you, gals, mm-hmm. if you will. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, one, I want you to rate my my food choice okay and you're holding it up like you are selling it i mean i know that's what you do when you're not in the potty you sell things for people with your face body and personality mostly my body yeah (laughs) but Mm. okay so you got that i see a little tj's well tj TJ. I go to TJ's now. I'm a TJ guy. I love Trader They're Joe's. They're like half price to Whole Foods. The Joe's are oh, yeah. amazing. Whole Food executives coming for me in the night. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let me have a look. What do I do have with a my look. fingers? Do I wipe them on your lovely skirt. I have a compulsion. You, you to do wipe double them. dream hands. I knew you wanted to. Okay, so what is Danny drinking here? And sorry about my voice. I'm recovering from a little a little cold from my grandbaby who is so sweet and slimed her snotty. Everyone's sick in well, Tennessee right now. Well, that's actually not the truth. Apple cider it's vinegar. It's not the truth about her grandbaby at all. She tanked her hormones on perfect. I would love uh, On perfect. On purpose. <laughs> Because we're we're trying out our particular ones, and she wants to see their efficacy, how well they do compared to her regular hormones. I see that big word. So I see you. So anyway, she tanked her own hormones. Like we, she couldn't begin the, the to be part of the test okay. until she was zero and everything. And so yeah, but so when her your immune estrogen, system was when down. your estrogen goes down, you're you're at risk for immune. Yeah, um, no, but I but there was a sweet snotty baby that I that I looked up. But, okay, so this looks pretty good. But Serene, you know you don't have to wear glasses because you, you know didn't tank your hormones. Help, big sister. <laughs> okay, so the it's carbonated water, first nice. ingredient, lovely organic apple juice concentrate, awful. A what li- is this sweet it's sugar content? It's only a little content. bit. It's only three grams. I'm giving yeah. that a pass for Dan. No, Dan. it's not. It's Pearl. It's not three grams. You need your mm. estrogen back. It's um, nine grams of total sugars. No, eight grams of total sugars, nine grams of carbs. So nine grams oh, of that stuff. Okay. I feel like he can handle it. He if can. someone is really wanting to shed inflammatory fat layers, I wouldn't drink that all day um, because it's got a little bit of fruit it's 38% juice. 38% juice. Okay. So I would be careful with that. Could though. they have one a week? Yes. Even if you are thin like you are, but you have trouble with high blood sugar, yes, um, that may not be that it. great for you. Yeah. Okay, so this is a bit of a sh- little sugar pop. Mm-hmm. It is a bit of a sugar pop, hey, Dan. I can't Man. be silent right now. I just can't be silent. What? I have this thing that's been weighing over my head for a long... I can't even go to bed at night without the, the guilt and the sorrow oh. over how I failed in this particular area. What? Oh, we're not talking about Christmas my drink. Christmas time... Christmas time. Where are we going? We were at the. We were upstairs at our at our offices at the, above the cafe. Right. How many years ago? And this is just just this Christmas. Okay. And up comes this box of the best kombucha ever. Right, the best. And but people have been giving us gifts for a while. It's kind of what happens around Christmas time <laughs> when you're so famous. No, it's like, uh, not about that. No gifts. No, I'm just saying John gives it to us. Be careful you know, when just, all men speak well of pro- you. Good Sovereign John comes up trumps. He doesn't he even does. love he's Christmas. A, he's a gift he giver. And um, one of it's John's spiritual gifts or love languages, whatever they're called, is gift giving. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he's really good at it. He's like There's a Chinese nut butters. My goodness, factory. no one gave better. I mean, that's those ones. Let's okay, tell your, life, your right? story because I've got anyway. To... Okay, yes. Yeah. So all that to say is, we were given this box of 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 Bucci, right? And is it that what so, it's called? No. It was, I think the name, see, the problem is, it, 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 I'll, I'll go to the name soon. Okay. And we were like, this is the best kombucha we've ever had. And it was a particular flavor for Christmas. It was very um, Christmassy. It was a special edition for Christmas. We're like, these are the nicest people in the world. Oh, my goodness. Fantastic. Great. And then um, our children like came over because we took the box home and, we were, and you and I, we just shared them. We just shared mm-hmm. them with all the children. It was great. Then at the bottom of the box, it had slipped down the side. There was a letter. And I read the letter. It was to you, Dan, as well. It was to all of us at the potty. And this, this beautiful lady, she was THM, but her husband and her run this kombucha business. And um, she was like, tell Danny how much, you know, I just I love his stories and everything. And then, you know, tell Pearl also that, you know, I've lost all this weight. Everything was just, this letter was amazing. You didn't even get to read the letter, no. right? Um, and it was just so, she was just like, I'm like, this lady is amazing. How sweet. And she had sent the kombucha so that maybe if we liked it, we could mention them, you know, mention, yeah. maybe mention on the potty. She sent it as a blessing. She said, don't feel obliged to do this. But hey, if you mention on the potty. But you did freak listening. out over that butcher. 
Oh, it was the best butcher in the world. I think it was called Thrive. I remember the word Thrive. See, I saved that letter thinking I've done the worst of cardinal sins because it's all drunk and we were meant to bring it and let John try, oh, Danny on try on live. the potty live. And okay. there was none left. Well, here, listen, so I will help you. So I saved that letter thinking that I'm going to go and um, like right, show that. this. We're going to read this letter on the podcast. Mm. And I went the next day and my children had thrown it out. I would gone through the trash, everything. So I can't even remember the name. I think it's Thrive. I'm going to fix you. I'm going to fix Thrive you. something. Whoever they from this Kentucky? is. Yes. And I, and I just emailed recently. I looked them up on the internet. <laughs> Because I thought, oh, then yeah. maybe they're on the Hey, internet. she should reach out but to us again. And you can just say sorry to her now that you lost I the letter. So I didn't I, get no, to but read literally, it. Literally, it's been months of guilt. Months of guilt. Because I really want to promote them. Okay. Uh, well, here they are. Thrive Brew. Thrive, Thrive Brew. Brew. That's yeah. it. And they're yeah, in Kentucky. Yeah, but we should drink one on the party. Yeah, but Danny, you were meant to get one of those. <laughs> and we just let all my 15,000 children <laughs> yes. and summer pearls, couple, you yeah. know, where, eat it all up in two evenings. Where the uh, where the barn is full, where the oxen are plenty. The, yeah. I don't know. Something. Hey, um, we have to hurry up because John and Leslie have to be out of yeah, here. Yeah, but that was important. And I wanted to do a whole party, my update on Pearl's Nerd Book Club. Mm -hmm. You know, people love that last party when I talked about the books, show and tell that I'm reading. Um, but I do want to say, Serene, real quick, we've got two minutes what? because it's kind of a funny, sad story about you. You can't do it in two you. minutes. Save to the next time. No, I shall do it if I want oh. to. Yesterday, are oh, you looking at my dry crumbs in here? And that's what yes, she came with dry you? crumbs because Serene is feeling under the weather, but she's so much better. So yesterday we had now. an all day meeting. It was a branding meeting under fluorescent lights. John and Leslie were there. John <laughs> barely made it from the fluorescent lights. Um, but Serene was turned up and I just looked at her face and I'm like, oh no. And she's like, Pearl. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. When I pee, it feels like barbed wire. I'm in so much pain. I said, oh, you have a UTI. Serene's never had a UTI. I'm like, I don't, you don't understand. I've got 10,000 camels pounding on my something inside. I don't yeah. even know what they're pounding she's on. She's like, and you know, when I pee, I have blood. And I'm like, Serene, that's a UTI. I need, you can't let these things. She said, it's already wrapping around. Why is it in my back? I'm like, like pain? Yeah, oh, like so kidney pain. Oh. I would like, have rather had 10 unmedicated births. Yeah. Like, like I really, well, no, they are bad. That's... UTIs, when they get that bad and you start bleeding and, and it's just, it's horrible. And she was just like rocking with pain. And we were in a, we were in a business meeting where, you know, people had come in and they were making a presentation so to I us. So I tried to stay as long as I could. She had, but then halfway through I said, Sam, just take her to the doctor during the lunch break and then she'll come back and maybe she can endure it. But um, so she did, it was UTI straight away, you know, so, and then she came back and then she tried to make it. She ended up going home. But I said to Sarah, I got I on the good old antibiotics, which I thrive, like I pride myself on my good old yeah. microbiome. And now I'm just slashing no, but there's it to a reason pieces. I'm, she's like, but why would I have gotten this? You know, I'm a healthy person. What am I doing wrong, Pearl? I'm like, you know, she's like, I'm addressing my hormones. You're not supposed to get UTIs once your hormones are addressed. And why do I have one? I said, well, sometimes it's nothing to do with that. You got introduced to a bit of bacteria. And, I, and I, this is the funny story that we will only share with Denny and our potty people. She tried to share it with the business people yesterday. <laughs> I, I said, don't you dare. And then she said a second ago, I'm going to bring it up on the potty. I'm like, of course you are. It's the pod. We yeah. Yeah. Pod she to doesn't everything. mind 100,000 people circle. listening on the potty, but she couldn't share it with like 15 people, yes. mm -hmm. business people. I've, I can relate to that. So... I said, but Serene, okay, I want to talk to you. I want to find out the reason you got this. And so I said, do you think, did you sit on a public toilet seat? Because I once got a UTI oh, from a public toilet that's seat. That's got to be the worst because kind. She, you know, you, normally you just hang in the, in the middle yeah. and, oh. and nothing touches. But I remember touching before I hung, oh. okay? And I did get a UTI. It was a bad one. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Um, then I said, Serene, oh. was it, do you know, do you, you, you kind of live on a farm. Was it a dirty toilet seat? She's like, no. I said, what about dirty toilet paper? And Serene's face was like. You remember it. Oh. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> That's the so funny. Okay, so I was working out in my gym and we have a bathroom near the gym and then we have a bathroom all the way up in my room or the, all the way downstairs. It's your home gym. It's three levels. Yeah, home. Okay. And so I was in the middle of a set and, and I'd already <laughs> yeah. had my, almost my time was up for the next for the next set, right? Yeah, it was. And, and I'm like pretty nerdy about my exercise and I really only had like 20 seconds to get back in and start mm -hmm. the new rep. And so I ran to the bathroom next to the gym and it was out of toilet paper. Okay. None. Yes. Zilch. And I didn't want to drip dry. I thought that that was not <laughs> going to be... That wasn't the thing to do, but I saw... And you've drip dried many times. I saw this is serene in here. the corner yeah. of the bathroom... <laughs> 
<laughs> the cardboard roll. No, no. Empty. No, do it. No toilet paper on, on it. But floor. I'm like, it's dry. Oh, this serene. isn't a disgusting bathroom. I mean, it's my own home. Mm-mm. So I just pat it a little bit no. and just called it done. And what no. did you do with the roll? Put it in the garbage? You put it in the garbage. Because I have done this, but it always has to be on the utensil. It can't be on the floor. That's a no. But if it's still there and it's... You know the the cardboard roll? The roll? The roll. If it doesn't have toilet paper, I'll still use it if I'm desperate, long as it hasn't been on the floor. But she used one off the floor. Well, it wasn't public floor. And it was just the corner, the clean swept corner, but it must have had enough of a something. There is no such thing as a clean corner (laughs) in the universe. So then by the next morning from that, that was probably less than 24 hours less. It was less than 24 hours. She had a raging. That was so raging. Moral of the story, friends. Don't use the rolls. Even if it's the perfect shape. If it touched the floor. Well, it wasn't a great shape, but it was... I mean, I'd say it's a fair shape for the intended purpose. It was... Better than nothing. But then you don't flush a roll either. You have to put no, it in the No, no, I never thought of flushing a roll. You don't have to teach them that. That's not <laughs> where they come for that kind of knowledge. Who turns into parties and hears these hey, just pearls of wisdom? What do you think the people did before toilet paper? But guess what? They should actually have Brass. that. You know, do you know the information that they have out there? Like, Because no. they don't underestimate the daftness, right? Yeah. Can you imagine they printed on a toilet paper thing, do not flush the roll? Do not use the roll. And then flush the roll. They, what they really should do is if roll is on floor. Okay, not toilet paper not roll. Do not pick up and Cardboard use. roll, yes. A little disclaimer on the roll itself. Yeah, so I should be Because you them. know some yeah. I should probably yeah. sue yeah. them, right? Yeah. You're Shouldn't the person. I? Because I'm ruining my microbiome because they did not print that. <laughs> yeah, that's you know? fair. It's like, the, it's like hot on the McDonald's coffee cup. Yeah, it's got to say hot for some. Did people. Did you know that there's somebody won a, a, a recently in a court case because she sued her parents for conceiving her without their con- her consent? <laughs> she actually won. <laughs> no. And she's into no. adoption. She goes, Hold you see, on. but when, with my children, they, you know, they consented to have me as their parents. <laughs> when did right? they do that? But wow. yeah, uh, it's just, but they won. That's how ridiculous the world is. So All that's right. Why so I'm going to get on probably, to um, probably sue toilet Noble paper says, rolls. I think you got hacked on Facebook. Noble says that to me right now. Yeah, but that's such a rabbit trail. Oh, man. You hey, know, speak- I'm just going to say, did I send you uh, Okay, Pearl, you're, this Facebook isn't fair that messenger. we all have to... In- you're just talking to, t- to control the time. Okay, but I better get back to the party. Yeah, you were reserving your that's next... That's true, but uh, no, but uh, <laughs> hey, if I'm, if I'm hacked on Facebook, that's not good because I'm also admin on the Trim Healthy You've got two of the same book there. Why do you have that? I'll tell you about that. Okay. Uh, hey, I got a quick question though before we move on. Do you guys believe gals believe in and or use bidets? But Bidet- girls don't use bidets, no, do I they? No, I don't like. Oh, they do. Do they use bidets? To flush the oh, so to flush the little ARS? To flush the arse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think it's for flushing the You missed the, the E. Area. It's still white. It's funny that you put the R in there. Well, you always have to because it brings a comical, uh, you know, addition to the word. But you left the E. That's okay. the way British spells it. Oh, it's spelled A-R-S. Yeah, that's the way they say it. Yeah. yeah. It's got an R. Um, we went to China into these beautiful, beautiful um, hotels and they all had boudets. But if you don't know how to use them, they can be dangerous. You can like send you off into space. Yes. You can blast off. Oh my yes. goodness. Pearl, stop uh, doing oh your... I hacked and I have to finish a potty. I have to fix that, people. No, you don't. Right now? If, well, put, put, if you didn't bring your phone, you wouldn't know. Put the phone down. And put it away from your body. Did you get a message from me? The EMFs. Mm. Did you get a message? Okay. Right. Here we go. So um, uh, this is part two. Yeah. So I've been reading some good books. I Part two of your reading club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Book, Pearl's book, book Nerd Club. Um, I love to read. I don't get enough time, but I carry books around with me. I have some like where go potty. Yeah. Um, because you but can, what's with that? You put them on the ground, I and know, then but, when you're going potty, but you pick why? them up because that's you can get so stuff you just done. Get in there and get done. Well, think about it. when you're peeing, you could you could read a paragraph. Mm. When you go number two, you could definitely read a page. I'm in and page. out quicker than that. You see. Well, like, it's like so the, great for you. I'm yeah. just saying what I do. <laughs> I could do like four pages. I just, I, but now I know the kind of person you are. Be- then I read also right before bed because I find that that is much better I for the limbic system. I wonder what people system. are doing in there when they go into the bathroom and don't come out for half an hour. And now I know. Well, they're just reading more. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's life is so fast paced these days. It's hard to get time to read. I never get time in the day. So then at the end of the night, I always read before bed. So that's when I get most of my mm-hmm. reading done and it just relaxes me and, and that's my time. So, um, 
but the because you don't sit down and nurse babies anymore, exactly. you have to go read in the toilet. Yeah, because nursing like, was such a good time to oh, read, it was wasn't best. it? Yes, it wasn't was. It dead? Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't know because you always have a story about lisa when ooh, i say ooh, hold on i think my milk just came in yes <laughs> i would say this party is definitely on to pg already we've got the arse we've got the toilet this we've- party's already just junk okay but it's i'm gonna i'm gonna make it better right now don't. and i got hacked on this party <laughs> serene i saw you look at the camera i know because you, you don't want me to break you can the, stop now the fifth whatever it's called fourth fourth wall we haven't brought one thing of worth today let me bring yes something. we have don't use cardboard rolls and do that have flipped bidets. onto this side in the toilet okay. and in the bathroom floor right. corner um uh the and this just makes this party worse but the the book i really wanted to bring i couldn't find um, but I'm going to tell you about it. But it's been the one that's rocking my world. This was the Trim Healthy Podcast. We thank you for tuning in today. And you never to, should again. I said to Serene, I'm going to bring part two of my book club and bring all my greatest books. And then I ran around the house like for an hour, like freaking out because I couldn't find the book. I'll start with it then. It is called The XX Brain. Did you can check you, all the can toilets you look up in the house? Who the author is of The XX Brain, Leslie? Yes, it was Samantha. No, it wasn't. Oh. Lisa somebody, I believe. Lisa. Doctor. Doctor Lisa. The reason why told me once. I feel like I would recommend this book, and I do want to say all the books that I'm talking about, I don't always agree with every single word in there. People don't agree with every single word rewrite, right? Well, who? Lisa Moscone. Dr. That's Lisa it. Moscone. Mm-hmm. Um, but I always take away gems, and if a book has some gems, I'm going to talk about it here. Mm. I read a lot of books that I don't really have. So if gems, you listen to one of these books that she suggests reading, and then you're like, "Oh my goodness, Pearl believes all this." Yeah, no, she no, doesn't. No. We only believe the Bible. As yeah, far fully. As the fullness. Yeah. Um, but the the book was incredible because this doctor has spent the last several decades. Um, putting her work into studying female brains. And really what she's all about is um, helping people prevent. And I don't know, there's nothing right now that can really turn around dementia and Alzheimer's, sadly. Well, there is. Some th- times, bro. What about plasmalogens not, yes. and and different Those things are things like that? Those are things, but they can. haven't been documented in large studies. Right, but they can't. They're, they're showing... Um, there are books. Yeah. Um, there are books about them and there are studies, mm-hmm. yes. Um, plasmalogen. She didn't actually talk about that in her book, yeah. but she did talk about lifestyle. I'm going to talk about that. Is that a food or something? Uh, it, plasmanogen is it's, no, it's, it's kind of a fatty. Yeah, and it comes from um, seaweed and or or m- m- are they mussels or they um, no 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 the clams something you can get it from sea you but you don't eat them. it. No, you actually you, you they isolate it and concentrate it and it actually reverses uh, Alzheimer's. They, they say. It's a medical procedure though. No, it's, it's not. It's a supplement. You would swallow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. drops. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, keep going. So, what? But she, anyone listening who has a family member with dementia or uh, that's that's getting worse, yeah, because there's people you can look to up plasmalogens right yeah. on yeah. the internet. We met the scientist behind it. Amazing yeah. guy. What does, what's his name now, Doctor? Oh. We wanted to have him on the potty. Yeah, I read his book and I, it was like the most incredible book. It was hard to you even wrap up, your brain you around. You look it up. Oh. Well, well, I um talk about the. But anyway, brain. you could look it up because we've got our father on it for prevention. He yeah, does, he's not showing any signs, but I we buy both prevention. my mum and dad plasmalogens for prevention. I keep putting my uh, code in here. Oh, no, oh, I just two, told the whole what? world. I have my code for my phone. Great, great. <laughs> <laughs> I'll change it. My my birth date, my birth year. Yeah, you know no wonder you get year? hacked every <laughs> afternoon. Yes, oh, yes, listen, you told you me. Oh, please, please. Okay. I could have just given it to her. Okay. She's hacked, and now she's telling her whole thing on the internet. And it's funny that you really committed to try to sort it out off mic, like. <laughs> okay, silly. the XX brain. Yeah, she XX talks brain. about the what happens to a woman's brain as she loses estrogen, and this is why I love the book so much because she actually showed images that's what she does she studies brains of a woman a premenopausal woman whose brain was completely lighting up because there was enough glucose in it to a perimenopausal woman and a postmenopausal woman okay do you want to you just interrupt here because then we no can move let on? me finish this then you do it let me finish lovely girl i love you 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 poor sick and i'm being mean to you um and she showed the difference. And in a perimenopausal woman, the brain was, I mean, I wish I could show it to you here, but the brain had light all in the image. And with the peri and no, the post. No, the pre-menopausal yeah, had the, the light. the pre had the light. Okay. Peri and the post, there were dark places all over there. But what was interesting was I showed it to Serene. I said, Serene, I know you're not postmenopausal like me, 
but you might want to consider replacing your hormones right now because I was trying to wait. A woman have the same. Issues. I was going to wait until done, like menopause. Okay, now I'll start hormones, and um, really encouraged me with my decision to to kind of like go straight on to them because you know I was I had definitely reached perimenopausal. Everything was mm. was definitely the cycles were totally changing, and then Pearl's like, if I could do it over again, yeah. if there's any encouragement I can give you as a little sister. Don't do what I did. Well, what came out in the book is something that I've experienced myself. And I'm doing things to try to combat that. But it has been, it's been an issue. I'll, I'll just be honest. I went, when I went through perimenopause, you know, that's the time, the eight years before you go through actual menopause where your period stops. It's usually about eight years for women. Many women don't know they're in it. And starts when? That's when um, it's no certain age. It's when your periods change. And usually you're in your 40s, late 30s. But it's it's when your hormones start changing and declining. Sometimes they go up and down as they decline, but they are declining. What are some first signs, though? The first signs are change periods, change in mood, uh, weight gain, change in metabolism. Um, you experience too heavy periods or too light or they change. Um, they're not 28 days apart anymore. You, you mm. Everything just changes. And... Um, you you lose your testosterone, that starts to go down. Progesterone starts to, to go down. But also people think, oh, during perimenopause, I'm estrogen dominant. Well, they can be estrogen yeah. dominant, but it doesn't mean they have too much estrogen. No. It just means there's not enough of the other things. In fact, if they had more estrogen, they would probably have enough progesterone because yeah. if you have enough estrogen, you'll ovulate. If you ovulate, that's when you can get progesterone. So the really the problem is not the finding out estrogen dominance i have too much estrogen maybe you don't have enough that's why you're estrogen dominant yeah estrogen dominant is just such a catchphrase that has caught so many women in a lie where they're scared of estrogen but really it means you don't have enough progesterone to balance your estrogen yeah and because you probably didn't have enough estrogen to produce progesterone yes yeah, so, so it's like which comes first chicken or the egg it doesn't matter even in perimenopause it declines some months it might be quite high other months it's going down but it is going down and when our estrogen goes down for us women, and, and this whole book is about it, and she just, I mean, she has the research studies and she has the data there. When our estrogen declines, our brain is no longer protected. Why? Why? Okay, so there's many things about estrogen that protect our brain, just like they, estrogen protects our heart. As soon as a woman goes into menopause, she actually has as, the same risk of men as heart disease and before that she's protected mm -hmm. actually it goes up and we get more heart attacks than men it's incredible yeah. it's the leading cause of death after menopause heart but attacks. what does estrogen do in woman estrogen makes us insulin sensitive and insulin is able to carry that glucose mm -hmm. to the brain the brain requires glucose so when we become you know insulin resistant and we lose our estrogen this is what happens. They're calling dementia and Alzheimer's now a form of diabetes 3, yes. type 3 diabetes. So it's all to do with getting that glucose to the brain. Now, there are things that she talked about, like some people believe that it's plaque formations, but that actually hasn't proven mm -hmm. to be correlated with dementia and Alzheimer's. Women get dementia and Alzheimer's so much more than men. Men yes. do get it sometimes, but it's a disease primarily afflicting women. And she has devoted her whole life to combating this. So what are some of the things in the book i suggest you get the book the funny the X -X thing is brain yeah, by the dr X -X brain. lisa Moscone. yeah the question funny, yeah are are the disease because different diseases seem to favor if you will men yeah. versus women are these things hormonally affected like did is the lack of hormones yes yeah the reason men get more heart disease is because they don't have as much estrogen mm -hmm. as women. Woman, right. estrogen is the biggest, biggest prevention. And, and it's like, um, what is it against heart disease? It's like a... Well, a they say, you know, men need a little estrogen. And all of these estrogen blockers they started to give to men that yeah. totally eradicated all their estrogen. They were finding out those men were not protected anymore yeah. and had more of a chance, a higher so risk of So you make disease. some estrogen, Danny, yeah. but you don't make as much as us, right? So the idea is balance yeah like men and women have different profiles but they both need to be balanced yeah right and i do want to address that word you were totally right but at a certain point the the word balance for with hormones doesn't work anymore yeah. because a lot of people say you know they're they're our age and say i just want to balance my hormones do you have a supplement to balance but once you're in peri there's really no well definitely once you're in post right exactly. you've got nothing to balance but once right. you're in peri but what i'm saying is oftentimes in 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 you're really in peri and you're into the late yeah. peri 
maybe adding one hormone will help balance the others, like yeah. adding progesterone to antagonize estrogen or whatever. That may help. But you really have to start putting those hormones in. And to balance them, you have to put one in. You can't really just take a herb and say, I'm going to balance them all mm. out. It doesn't work. So that it's a, it's a dangerous work. word, even though it's a right word. Yeah. And the, yeah. the way you were using it is correct. But um, there's a point where when people say, I have balanced hormones, or I want to get balanced hormones. It's and They have no, no, basically no hormones to balance. It's like yeah. premenopausal women could say that. A lot of people go through menopause and say, my hormones are balanced out now because I'm no longer having hot flashes. No, they're tanked. Yeah. They're not balanced. Wow. I do want to say, though, so what I noticed, I'm going to go back to a personal story, was when I went through perimenopause, I... Do we all have our hankies for you? So no. <laughs> shed a tear. I started to get um, quite, a, quite a lot of brain fog um, and word recall was my big thing. And then it was so much more pronounced after I went through menopause. I could... My brain was always so sharp and I still feel like it's sharp. I can write, I, I can think about things, but pulling words out, they were just missing. It, it literally scared me. They were not there. I couldn't find them. And then the more research I did, that's actually what caused me that in the hot flashes was, was what, you know, my big decision to go on hormones in the end. I'm so glad I did. But I said to Serena, I so wish I did not let them decline because it, it happened. And the hardest thing is to get that back. Now, getting it back, of course, you need to put your estrogen back. There's some other on, things you, you said can I'm do. I'm so glad that you didn't let them decline because you didn't, because you mean you're so glad you didn't wait longer in decline. Is that what you meant? I'm so because glad. Because you did allow them to decline. I'm so glad I didn't wait longer, but That's I it. wish yeah. I'd started sooner. Yeah. I really do um, because I'm not the same. I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm still Pearl, and, but I feel like uh, I still, it's, it's hard for me to recall some words sometimes. And according to this book, and it made so much sense as I read through it, it's that lack of estrogen. And I went without it. Well, perimenopause, it was declining. But then I went through the whole year of no periods. That was when I went through official menopause. And then I waited another year until I started on hormones. And it was too long for me. Now, you might be listening. You might like me, but 62 and you might think oh no no I'm, it's just worse for me what am I going to do so I feel like there's always hope for us and you don't have to have Alzheimer's or dementia just because you waited that long or maybe you don't have any problems at all and that's fantastic but it does afflict many many women what, what and the did... greatest thing we can do to prevent Alzheimer's and dementia according to these studies and according to latest research is to put back our hormones how the do, sooner the better. And how do women do that? And With can I just say something here for five minutes? Therapy. We've said it before. We've said it over and over. But sometimes repeating is great, yeah. you know? And so I would like to say here, the argument, well, I just want to be natural, right? Yeah. You know, I just I just want, if, if God you know, allows the, the cycles of a woman to stop. It's his design. Let's go with his design. I used to think that way. And I used to think, well, you know, oh, yeah, it's not, it's not great for these women. I, I would see them decline like you can see after menopause you know your aunties or your whatever that didn't have any problem um with insulin resistance were, are now struggling you know they get thicker around the middle and you can start to see even as a young girl you can see and you notice what happens to a woman you kind of know you think that that may be your plight okay well that's what happens at that age that's what's going to happen um but then i started thinking about it and, you know, I walked past my garden one day and my husband and, and sons were all putting, amending the soil, putting things back in that had been depleted. And I thought to myself, why are they just, I mean, I could say, let's let the garden be natural. Don't put <laughs> anything back in it. Right. Yeah. And then I started thinking, you know, my mum would be putting on glasses to read. And I th would think to myself, well, that's amending eyesight. Right. The way of nature would just be to let her not read. Uh, past a certain age, you're just not meant to read. That's the way of nature, right? And you're not meant to drive because that's the way of nature. Because you can't see. And you're, <laughs> and, or, and everybody's meant to just um, blend up their food after 50-something when most of the molars are gone unless you've put crowns. You know, everyone's had teeth work in their by 50s. You've had teeth work, right? Well, no, we're meant to blend. But, well, you can't blend because that's something that's been, you know, invented too. That's not natural, right? We weren't born with a blender on, the, on our side. So <laughs> it gets so woo-woo where it's like everything is about amending and advancing and about using our creativity under God to, to find the things that he has out there for us and to enhance them and to be co-creators with I, them. I think it really afflicts us crunchy girls, yeah? yeah. You know, those of us that want to be natural, but sometimes natural is fantastic. Sometimes natural is jolly bad. Like natural 
natural is when our muscle just declines. Entropy and is natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and entropy, and then and then we get bone decline, and then we break a hip and we die. Yeah. It's all natural. It's, I yeah. don't want to do it. You know what's natural too? <laughs> the, the, the the instinct to have a temper. Yeah, I mean, there's so <laughs> things is. are natural that you just want to temper. I mean, you want to you, you just want to, you. Know, what I meant by that is actually temper, like control yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> You did a oh, double. I do want to yeah. say so. And also, one more thing. Yep. It is na- these bioidentical hormones have been placed there by the creator. Yeah. They're found in nature. So they're the they're way isolated they're natural. from Very natural. the herbs. Okay, so, but who, who has these bioidentical hormones? Well, you need you, their prescription. You need to see a really good doctor. Why do you think we are bringing this whole trim healthy medical thing to the world? But because right there's now, such a need. Like today, though, like yeah. do people go you to You need to primary? seek out a good doctor that understands hormones and that you don't need to convince and that who has educated herself or himself about the importance of them. This is a women's clinic, maybe? And don't or? be afraid because no, of not the... Not usually. Don't be afraid because of the dogmatic kind of deception out there that estrogen is dangerous. Mm-hmm. There was a WHI study that was flawed mm-hmm. and now has been found to be flawed. And, 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 you know, she, and, and she goes through that in the book. But one thing I will have to say about this doctor, and I, and I, I just think it's fabulous. And I haven't even got a chance to talk about her lifestyle, what she says. Because oh, wait, she, but she, don't do it yet. Oh, because, oh, okay. So her take on hormones is, yes, she believes that they're important. And for many women, they probably other thing that's going to save them but she hasn't been schooled like many doctors like who were under dr k on you know on just the importance of flourishing hormones she's right. more about well you know menopausal hormone therapy is doing the least for a certain amount of time and then going off when you can that's what she's been well it doesn't really with. prove her it pictures. doesn't it doesn't but that's all she knows that. so far right so just go into it knowing that but with, when it comes to lifestyle so many many people know about the apoe4 gene and you know how, have you heard of that, Denny? No. If you have it. Say the an, an AP, uh, let me again. Let me say it. Um, Can we talk about it after the superfood spotlight? What? 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 AP, oh, oh, we can come back. Yeah. There's no superfood spotlight today. No? Is there? I don't know. So we're spotlighting something. We're back. <laughs> I'm saying it because you're not, Denny. I'm saying it. Okay. So, and... So she talks about the APO4 gene, and this is something that I've never tested on myself, but I know our grandmother had Alzheimer's. So it's usually a genetic thing. And if you have the eight, there are four genetic SNPs um, showing you your risk for APO for Alzheimer's. Um, Those who have the APO2 have a very low risk. Those who have the APO3 have moderate. And some people have an APO4 and another one, and they have kind of a significantly higher risk, but those who have the APO4, or E, whatever it is, um, hopefully I'm saying it right, and they have the double. Uh, um, yes. They yes. are at the highest risk for Alzheimer's. Chris Hemsworth, I think, really? tested out for both. Okay. And, and she talks about, she said, she said it's up to the, each individual whether they want to test cause, to find out because she said, I find that some people find out and then just live the rest of their lives in fear, and I don't think that's good for their brain. Yeah. Anxiety is not good for your brain. Tough. Yeah. But she said it does help some people because it gets their act into gear. Because she said this, she puts all the studies out, and this is what was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Those who have an AP, am I saying it, OE4 gene? Well, if you would tell me your passcode oh, to I'm your not. phone. Okay, so what if those who have this risk gene can take it down to where their risk is as low as the people that don't have it by lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you have that APO4 gene or whatever, the high one, and you are living and you are not eating properly, and she talks about the foods, I mean, we need, it's just basically trim healthy, right? You just need the wise protein, you need the greens, you need the berries, you need the flavonoids, you need the carbs, mm-hmm. you need the beans and all those You need good to make things. sure you're not overdoing sugar. Yeah, absolutely, that's the hugest thing. Divitalized foods, sugar, those are the things that increase inflammation in the body and really Alzheimer's and dementia are diseases of inflammation yeah. of the brain. Hey, and we need to be forcing vegetables down, right? Yeah. yeah like even if you to, don't like it. You've like, got to be eating your veggies. Like when we first started this podcast, yeah. I feel like we were we were sort of gentle about things like that. We're not as gentle anymore. But I feel, I feel like as we're older now, yeah. <laughs> you know, I feel more of a mandate to just sort of be like, I, I just have less patience for, I guess, first of all, for myself. When I'm like, I don't want carrots, you know, I don't, I don't want to get the peppers. I don't want to go to the organic section and, and maybe I'm neurotic, but I'm starting to get into like only organic. It has, I got to have a cart filled with vegetables and not cardboard boxes of man-made food. 
And and is it are are we not should we not be at some point like screaming from the rooftops like get over it people eat your dang veggies? I I think I think it's kind of coming to that time, but people are all in different states. Like we've so been nice. sitting here for a, in a party for a long time, but we've still got newbies coming in. And um, people have been listening to us for years. And I feel like I even want to say to the newbies, hey, welcome. Eat your veggies right now. Yeah. Right now. Throw your cardboard out. You're going to mm-hmm. die but of Alzheimer's. But there's a balance to it, too. So yeah. we want our really good proteins, Glad too. Yeah. And we want our healthy fats. And mm-hmm. and she talks about that. You know, it's it's basic, right? Because I kind of like ruined my body on the most organic, wonderful, high veggie diet. Yep. I ruined it because I, I did not place importance enough on the proteins yeah. and yeah. yeah so there's that beautiful balance that what we talk about that's what we're all about in trim healthy but then she talked about movement mm. and she talked about While the risks sit here. of Ooh. even if you have the highest risks of alzheimer according to these genetic snips you bring them down to where they're low if you move if because you move. it just it just lowers inflammation so much and she's like so for some people getting themselves tested gets their butt into gear and and it's a brilliant thing because they lower their risk and basically you know unless as they keep up their lifestyle and unless they do go back to what they were doing before they don't have to get this disease Mm -hmm. i love it so it's really incredible she talked about you know if that's you if you have it it's not a death sentence it does not mean you're going to get it because if you get proactive you can turn it around Mm -hmm. and i think isn't the wise move to just get proactive that's what she's saying so it doesn't matter if you have it or not be proactive skip the test i mean i feel like (laughs) i'm at such high risk for anxiety yeah. Like I could like some like a, a deer could kind of jump out in front of me on my motorcycle. And even though I don't even come close to hitting it like the rest of the day, death is knocking at my door. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Just right. stupid. And so like I couldn't get a test to find out if I ha- you just know. was at risk. I'm, well, I'm just going to just going to put it in. Like I'm if just you're the type of person like that don't doesn't need the inspiration yeah. of like fear, fear based butt in order, you can just put your butt in order. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, I, I think the book was phenomenal. Do we have time for my but, next? But like, I do book? want to, I do uh, want to explain. Okay, well, maybe we'll just, just do that just, book no, and another no, book no, no, next no, time. No, just, it just takes thirty seconds. Can I hold your book while you've you already talk? said it? I just want to reiterate That's it. That's not the book. These are my other books. Okay, but you can I've, hold them. I'll hold them. I've always, uh, you've already said it. I just want to reiterate it. That when you read the book, her take on hormones, even though she totally believes in them and shows yeah. shows what happens to the brain without them. It's uh, like use them as a Band-Aid while you're going through the... Well, she says that's all that we have right now. She w- actually talked about investigating into more of it, but I don't understand why she doesn't see it out there because she is very conventional. She okay. works in the conventional right. field. But it she is... talks to other conventional doctors, but she's posing the question constantly okay, throughout the book. So it is out there. there yeah. Whatever she's posing is out there because we've stumbled she's, across She that. says, I've posed these questions to mm-hmm. other doctors. If estrogen is the thing, why are we not so using it? So we're working with other doctors now that, mm-hmm. that believe in flourishing estrogen. Mm-hmm. So you don't just use it a little bit to get over your hot flashes. You put it in, you put it in in high amounts. Yeah. Hey, but Serene, speaking of that genetic snip, yeah. um, talk about the book then that we once read. Because for those who have loved ones right now facing dementia and Alzheimer's, oh, yes. it is maybe... Well, can you do your piece? Yeah, it thing? is you know, something that's very interesting and it deals with those who have... The um, book is a really hard book to read. It's so scientific. Yeah. It's like it took me... And I really wanted to understand it because I don't like reading any book unless I wrap my head around it. So it took me like a week per page. Yeah, this is oh, yeah. Dr. Day. I don't have a lot of time for reading, but I'd have to reread a sentence like about oh, 10 times to depth. really get it. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Day in Goodenow, um, he talks about plasmalogens in that book. Yes, yeah. it, it, it's D-A-Y-A-N-G-O-O-D-E-N-O-W-E. And the book is Dr. called Breaking Alzheimer's. Day in Goodenow, yeah, Breaking Alzheimer's really and Prodome Sciences. Prodome Sciences, it's prodome.com. His, his and all of his supplements... He, he is cutting edge cutting on edge, but I'm so, preventing are, and turning Alzheimer's around. But they are not cheap. And no, I had not to really... Cheap. But they take a long time to get through those drops. Like the, yeah, the not proto- you're buying it for your mother and your father. <laughs> well, it's $1.99, <laughs> right, for the drops. But they last. Oh, for a bottle? Yeah, last. but they last. Will they last? A month? Yeah. More probably. No, maybe a month than half. I do. Let's just no, make our own. No, they last a month. Hey, but speak- some, Oh, we got a good steal. Sometimes you can, yeah. uh, Sam and I, you can buy them But, in you know, we're not bulk. saying that that's the answer to Alzheimer's. His evidence and his research is very compelling, and that's what he's given his life to. And, you know, and he talks about the differences with the people with their, um, the genetic markers. And once 
their own plasmalogens, what happens to them. And so it's, it's very fascinating. Well, mm -hmm. so, I mean... To sort, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this. I know, but we're going to have to take another potty for each of those books because yeah. we got caught up in this, the XX Brain one. Funny that I started with that. I don't even, I'm not even holding it. I know. I brought all my other books. The next one's called <laughs> Cheating Death by Dr. No, Rand McLean. It was so life-changing to you. You called me up immediately. Yeah, I did. And I got on my hormones straight away. Well, I could just, all the evidence she was just putting there when I saw that picture of the brain, I'm like, oh, that's what happened to me. Yeah. You know, and and so the things that I'm doing to restore my brain function, of course, I'm keeping up my great lifestyle, but I had that anyway. Mm -hmm. I did have that. It was my loss of estrogen that, that changed the things. the only thing, yeah. Um, so, but of course, I'm replacing my estrogen along with testosterone and progesterone, but I'm also taking lithium orotate now. Okay. And there's some amazing stories. Did you get stories. it from Dr. Susanna? Get it from Amazon.com. She, she encouraged me to take it, but no, I just got it offline. Will you show me what you're she getting? Because I'm going to take um, it too. I she said any lithium orotate is pretty safe. Let's talk you take about it. Do you? I haven't taken it in a long time. I've it's been fantastic taking for GABA. anxiety. Yeah, I've been GABA. taking GABA. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it, we're not talking about the lithium orotate that carbonate. is prescribed by a doctor's no, for lithium carbonate for bipolar yeah. is much different to what I'm talking about. Much it is heavier dose. Hugely heavy yeah. dose. It has some, some people really need it, honestly, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it has some side effects like thyroid issues, things like that. Lithium orotate is a trace mineral. Mm -hmm. And if you look it up, yeah. the studies are so compelling on not only Very what compelling. it does for anxiety, but restores brain function. They did this study and um, they gave it to people and all the other people in that study lost gray matter and the ones on lithium orotate actually gained gray matter. Our brother's been taking yeah. it for years because he's yeah. a day trader and he's very, a very highly stressful environment yes. for the brain. Yes. And how, he takes quite a bit. He does he? take a lot. He oh. takes like 20, 30 milligrams. <laughs> the low no. dose is five or 10. Five I'm is, starting at five. Yeah. I'll let you know how I go to see if it helps you me with my word recall. You're going to send me a link. Did you get it off of Emma? I got it off of Emma and I brought it for my daughter Meadow too because she has very strong postpartum anxiety and and the doctor we were talking to said she should be on lithium orotate i give it to all my postpartum women yeah and it really helps them it's safe mm -hmm. it's a trace mineral it's something that your body requires anyway but yes. sometimes we need more of it it and, used to be yeah. in our water supply it's no and longer there right and some people are deficient yes, in it very it, deficient it, this natural thing that's in the body and yeah. um you, you think about adhd kids yes, yes. um i'm an adhd kid <laughs> yeah. you know I, I i don't I'm, and I'm not too quick to diagnose any of my kids with that, but I will say that like my personality traits run in the family. Yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, you pop a little, you know, the, the lithium dissolves Have you in given your it to your children? Totally. It's great. Yeah. 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 And I, you know, it, it's experimentation. I mean, I, I wish I had some clinical doc guiding everything, yeah. but they don't get into lithium orotate. Yeah. You know, yeah. they'll, your, your they'll recommend it. Yeah. They'll recommend GABA. Hey, try this, try that. But they're not going to like get into dosing. Mm -hmm. They're just going to tell you what you, you know, they'll suggest. So, but it's so natural that there's not really a big consequence. Mm -hmm. in no, there's not. That's what she said. She said, I little... like, I, she said, I like people to start off with five, see how they do. And then I often like them to jump up to 10. Oh, really? Um, yeah, to 10. And I wouldn't suggest that for a child, but this is what she was telling me for myself because I was talking to her about my, you know, some I'm of really my word recall issues. And then, and then my daughter, Meadow. Even with natural stuff, I think it's wise to do two days in a row and then come off for a day or two because I, even like the doctor mentality is because I've asked doctors like, well, man, I, I feel like I, I did it consistently for half a month and then I was sort of a nut bag okay. when I act, when I just, for, cause I'll forget about it yeah. cause, cause I'm trying to solve this ADHD thing yeah. with this stuff. And, um, I mean, you can get really like out of control. You know what I mean? Meaning and if you, when you come off of it oh, okay. and so, you know, you ask a doctor that and they're like, they like look up and they're like, well, never come off. And it's like, well, that's unrealistic. You know, sometimes, especially if you're talking about ADHD, you forget. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I always try, like anybody that asks me about my experience, I always add that, like, see how you do two days on and then come off. Cause you want to get a feel for like, especially when you first start, there's some side withdrawal side effects. From lithium you found? Anything. Oh, caffeine. Well, just supplements. I mean, yeah. But lithium orotate and GABA. A lot, of, a lot of body biohackers kind of take that approach. They're like, we take things, but we never take anything forever. But there's certain certain things for me that mm -hmm. I like to take. Like I like to take my vitamin D daily. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I like how to many, be at a certain level. How much do you level. take I take 5,000, but... Yeah. One and, and I'm a good responder to vitamin D. I'm a very good responder. And for me, because I'm on hormones, any woman who's even not on hormones, but you know, when we're in these ages where breast cancer risk rises, 
you want your vitamin mm-hmm. D, according to a lot of research and cutting edge doctors, to be around 80. You take your vitamin K along with it. Yeah, your K2. Most often you can find a supplement with them combined. And I usually stay right around there, 80 to 90. And I'm with 5,000 and um, I do great. But then one time I was just taking it every single day for months and months and months. And I was like... 100 and something and um, my doctor said okay you can just take two days off a week then you're a good responder you don't mm-hmm. need to be over 100. I'm not as much of a great responder and my husband doesn't respond well at all so we have had to go to the liposomal vitamin mm-hmm. D three drops and we had to take our K on the side and that works not better combined. for you. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So yummy. See like vitamin drops. withdrawal if you will could be like a little bit of a a sniffle might come, you know, you, you take high dose vitamin C and then yeah. stop. You might feel a little ch- chalky throat or so. almost like that. That's the consequence of vitamin withdrawal. But I feel like the consequence of lithium GABA, actually GABA is so mild. I don't know that there's much there, but 5-HTP. Oh, yeah. Those are is, things that are affecting the, the kind of transmitters in your brain. Serotonin and things yeah. like that. And so that and maybe you were that crazy, though, before all of that. And you're just more <laughs> okay. aware of the crazy so that's, when you miss a day. So the so <laughs> this doctor I talked to, I said, man, when we go because me and my son were taking yeah. it for like half a month and we came off and I was like, yeah. dude, we we got a little a little nutty you know i mean we were angry with really? just nothing and and everything was too like you'd get fussy you know you get fussy about something you're like oh my bad but you just hang on to it and you're just angry for like an hour and in incon- i mean it gets dumb i mean this mm. is a thing so now you stable types my, my <laughs> yeah, we be- looked at each other like angry yeah. for it, but we don't suffer with that yeah so, exactly that's so what i'm we saying need compassion there are people out there yeah. that are sensitive and and their maybe their brain just gets stuck there yeah oh, they're, i'm angry their yeah. brain profile mm-hmm. is is uh higher ups mm-hmm. and downs and so i find that of all three of those that i mentioned the 5 htp is the most intense yeah i've it, heard that it also stands to be the most beneficial mm-hmm. but it can be the most intense on the withdrawal so i asked our doc about it and he was saying that um not only was he like we'll never come off but he said that some he said that i've gotten accustomed my whole life to operating with background anxiety and this sort of way that i go through life in a kind of a manic way and so it feels really it can feel really strange at first to be at sort of a nice healthy baseline level and he said so when you're when you're saying that you're withdrawing when you come off of this stuff, he's like, you know, you're withdrawing back into negative. He was like, this is new yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, that's kind of what Serene was saying. Yeah, yeah. Th- exactly. You're that's going why returning to that. You're returning you're, to this negative yeah. thing that you're comfortable with mm-hmm. and that you're used to. So he's like, you know, commit to having a balanced, stable, yeah. healthy brain. Well, we, we're going to have to go now because um, we're going to do the record the other party right after this we'll be in the same clothes but i do want to say the other thing that i'm going to be doing haven't started yet to restore all of my word recall is zebra lysin you can look it up it's a um can it's a peptide <laughs> c-e-b-r-o-l-y-s-i-n okay um it's actually a russian peptide? drug but you can get it as a supplement and you inject it okay it's not and a peptide it is a peptide yes, but yes, it, the, the russians kind of invented it it's yeah. literally incredible the studies at mm-hmm. restoring Brain function, is restoring. That you can no, sniff? not Silank. That's Silank and Cimax. Well, and those are other two that. peptides. They, have you ever looked into Silank or Cimax for anxiety? No. Huge. Just look them up. Okay. The peptides. Peptides. Sniff the world of medical drugs. The world of not, medicine. It's like a little, like you would with sinus. Like no, a, I, I wish I could smoke and it were healthy. Okay, so the world of, C, of, of medicine, guys, is going into peptides. You watch. Peptides. Mm. All the, the, weight, the new weight loss drugs are all peptides. Yeah. It's going to be going into peptides, which are things our own body makes, and they are regenerating. So this cebralicin, um, even on children with autism, um, people that have had accidents, strokes, restoring brain function and then those just with some memory loss and word recall so i'm gonna be doing that i'll let you know how it goes hey, did i was i just reading the other day about people that have had terrible car accidents like brain injuries <laughs> strokes and if you get enough magnesium in, magnesium and the oh, other thing yeah. is progesterone right after yeah, a stroke, it was progesterone, a progesterone. It was progesterone. Hey, look, it was another progesterone. little disclaimer though when it comes to lithium or 5-htp gap but you know you're not supposed to be combining this stuff Oh. You know, because are you speaking from experience? <laughs> no, no, I'd never yeah. have. But you can get, uh, I think it's like serotonin toxicity. Yeah, you could get into um, very dangerous levels of people, like when they come off of their antidepressants. Yeah. So I think you you kind of choose need to, one or two or 
just or one. use a holistic doctor to attend. and yeah, have yeah. doctor gu- yes <laughs> but yeah. both pick one but also do nothing without the doctors yeah guiding you nice daddy i just know i know from experience these things are they're supplements you can get them on amazon but you should know what you're doing too yeah, yeah. yeah. okay see ya Bye. <laughs>